Andrew, we can see there the Prime Minister preaching to the converted. He's in a room with the Labor Party faithful <laughs> who is really talking up his government's achievements so far. But also having an eye to 2025, was there anything new in there? What stood out to you? Oh, well, there wasn't much new. I think we all need a gold star for sitting through that, Ash, to be quite frank. But uh, there was <laughs> an announcement that the shared equity scheme will finally start next year. And this has been something we've been waiting for for some time, where the government can invest 30% or 40% in a home, and that allows first homeowners to get in the market, 40,000 of them. There have been questions about why this legislation hasn't been brought forward. I think the answer is here in the press release from the Prime Minister and Housing Minister. They needed the agreement of the states. They've held this aspect back from National Cabinet yesterday. Normally in this sort of speech you'll see a new announcement. That's all they've got. One of the reasons I suspect is the big thing they wanted to do uh, this week. They did in National Cabinet yesterday. That was that bonus scheme in terms of uh, payments if the states allow more homes to be built. Uh, the states won't see that, the state governments, as someone pointed out to me this morning, Ash, until 28, 29. You'd be lucky if any of the premiers are still there then, perhaps Malinowskis and Minns. Look, this speech was all about the cost of living. It's the cost of living stupid, unfortunately, for the government, because if you do too much on the cost of living front, you'll drive up inflation. There's not much more they can do than the budget. So what the PM wanted to do was just remind people over and over again about what the government is doing in terms of cheaper medicines, Medicare, and some of those rebates for lower income earners. Now, this is the first time I've been in the Brisbane Convention Centre since Scott Morrison's campaign launch a week before the election. And so a bit of a different setting, but it is interesting, Ash, that, they are, that the focus there was housing in terms of the Liberal policy to allow people use, first home owners to use their superannuation to buy houses and the focus is housing once again. This issue's gone absolutely nowhere. The other interesting aspect or comparison I can make is Scott Morrison went to the election with stage three tax cuts and AUKUS. Controversially, the, uh, the Prime Minister and the Labor Party are looking to put the word AUKUS or the uh, acronym AUKUS, the Nuclear Submarines Agreement, in this party platform. That will be debated tomorrow and obviously not all of the Labor faithful uh, that uh, happy with that. So uh, a bit of that centrist agenda. And you saw that in one of the lines of Anthony Albanese's speech when he said, uh, we can carry on our principles in government, but we have to stay in government. Look, the only other thing that popped out to me out of that speech, I've got to say, Ash, is he basically confirmed that his intention is the election in 2025. No early election. We need to win the next election in 2025, he said. And Andrew, more broadly, how important or, or significant are these Labor conferences these days? You mentioned there is a bit of argy-bargy expected over AUKUS, but it does sound like we're going to be seeing a pretty sanitised version this year and a bit not to embarrass the leadership. Well, the government hope, uh, certainly hopes so. There's a few nervous senior ministers around because anything can happen in these forums, as you know, Ash. But the, apart from AUKUS and, and foreign policy, Israel-Palestine, the interest today about to come up is, is the economy. Jim Chalmers will introduce that debate. And people will be calling for action on cost of living. The CFMEU will be saying, you need to have a tax to pay for housing. So that could be two areas of interest and a couple of little fires there. But only 70 minutes has been set aside for that debate. So you'd have to think it won't be too troublesome for the government. They have to do this. They have to... Uh, talk to the party faithful. They have to explain to them what they're doing. But I guess they have to convince them as well that they're on the right track. And I thought then the significance of the line in Albanese's speech, you've got to stay in government to deliver on Labor principles, was the critical line that he was trying to get across to this conference. No use having these high, high, high principles on the left if you're in opposition for 10 or 20 years. Andrew Clennell, live there in Brisbane at Labor's National Conference. Appreciate your analysis. Thank you.